I am your host, Debbie, here to help you get in the know about Waco. This episode, we'll be looking at upcoming events, exhibits, and classes happening here in Waco, specifically featuring exhibits, events, classes, and festivals that highlight local organizations and programs and help bolster Waco's local artists and help bring to life the Waco art community. So first, I'm going to be talking about exhibits happening here in Waco. The first one I would like to feature today is the Euphoria exhibit by Kavitha Simonathan at the Kieran Sistrunk Fine Art Gallery. The Euphoria exhibit by Kavitha Simonathan is a soulful expression of contemporary paintings through color and texture. The exhibit runs through the entire month of March. Simonathan is a self-taught local artist with no formal training or education in the fine arts. However, you can find her paintings throughout private collections all over the United States and worldwide. She primarily works with acrylics and loves exploring new styles and techniques. She's also even won several awards throughout the years here at the Waco Cultural Arts Festival. So go check out her exhibit and support your local artists. The second event I would like to feature today is the Floating World exhibit. This exhibit runs through April 29th at the Martin Museum of Art located on the Baylor campus. This exhibit is a collection of Japanese woodcuts by scholar David Waterhouse. So what is the floating world? Well, according to David Waterhouse, Yukio either means floating world or sad troublesome world. And of course, the E refers to the picture. Yukio pictures of the floating world include subjects like beautiful women, both courtesans and geisha, kabuki actors, and sumo wrestlers, history and legends, travel scenes and landscapes, along with flora and fauna. This event is in conjunction with the Spotlight Japan 2020, which is a week-long celebration of Japanese art, culture, and history, starting from March 23rd, running through the 29th. This will include the exhibition of Japanese prints at the Martin Museum of Art, a production of Okara Tokashi Enjoy by the Department of Theater Arts, and numerous additional lectures and events by guest artists and Japan scholars. These events are sponsored by the Departments of Art and Art History and Theater Arts, the Modern Languages and Cultures Department of Japanese, as well as the Martin Museum of Art, the School of Music, and the Hamaker School of Business. Admission to this exhibit is free, so go check it out and help curate Waco's diverse culture. The third event I will be featuring today is Historic Waco Foundation's Collection of Carnival Glass. This exhibit will run until July 5th, so come out and preview Historic Waco Foundation's Collection of Carnival Glass from the American glass houses of the 20th century and learn about the rise and fall of this household staple. This exhibit is curated from a larger collection donated to the foundation by Mr. and Mrs. Roy Rutledge. Carnival Glass is known for its vibrant colors, intricate patterns, and iridescent glow. Collectors in the 1950s started to call these dishes Carnival Glass because of its occasional appearance as prizes at carnivals, fairs, and festivals in the early 1900s. You know, I wouldn't mind receiving a set of rainbow designed dishes as a prize rather than a poorly stitched teddy bear. The innovation of press molds helped to produce these press glass pieces. Each glass was still hand shaped and finished by artisans. Each piece was a unique piece of art. This collection represents America's most famous glassmakers of the late 19th and early 20th centuries, John and Frank Fenton, as well as other glassmakers who produced carnival glass, including Northwood, Dugan, Imperial, and Millsburg. All five companies are represented in this East Terrace exhibit with more than over 60 pieces. The aim of this exhibit is to provide an introduction to the subject and encourage an interest in learning more about Carnival Glass and its unique history. Next, I'm going to be highlighting specific events that are related to the art community. The first event I would like to highlight in this category is Date Night Paint Night at the Kieran Sistrunk Fine Art Gallery happening on March 20th from 7 to 10 p.m. Let's go and enjoy a couple's night of painting with instructor Susan L. Sistrunk. There will be an Asian-inspired meal of an egg roll appetizer with tender, spicy, stir-fried pork and vegetable rice served with sake created with love by guru Mark Kieran. This meal is complimentary with the purchase of tickets to the painting event. One ticket should be purchased per every couple. So come experience an art-filled evening inspired by the mystic Far East while enjoying the complimentary delicious dinner and the shockingly good sake. The next event that I would like to highlight today is the Table Toppers event happening at the Pavilion at the Carlene Bright Arboretum on Thursday, March 26th. This is the 29th annual Table Toppers Tea and Champagne Luncheon and will be featuring tables decorated by local designers, businesses, organizations, and schools. 
This year's Table Toppers Tea theme is Butterfly Tea, and it's inspired by the spirit of nurturing art and creativity in Waco, as well as honoring the exciting development of the new Art Center of Waco Complex. This event is populated with beautifully decorated tables that are created by local businesses and nonprofit organizations. This means guests will go around each table and enjoy exquisite details, amazing displays, and can even speak to representatives of the organization to learn a little bit more about their offerings. Tickets for this event will go help raise money for the building fund and will assist the Art Center of Waco in renovating 701 South 8th Street into a first-class art center for Wacoans and visitors alike to enjoy, engage, and explore. So come to this beautiful butterfly-filled event to help better fulfill the Art Center of Waco's mission and vision of providing a premier art and education programs to our community. After that, head on over to the Brews and Brushes event happening at King's Landing on March 26th from 6 to 8 p.m. Come join Shay McMorrin at King's Landing for a pet painting party. $10 from every ticket sold will go to the Wildlife Rehab Facility in Lorena. All you need to do is bring yourself. They'll have all the paint supplies for you, whether you've never painted before or paint all the time. This is a fun place to experiment and enjoy yourself. King's Landing is family friendly and has tons of board games, video games, food, drinks, and so much fun. This event is open for all ages and all skill levels, so come on down. After that, on the 27th, there's going to be the Cookies and Coloring event. The Art Center of Waco is back with Cookies and Coloring. Bring your kids, ages 5 and up, to a great event where they will color a page from this month's featured artist artwork, Paul Gagan. They will listen to a kid-friendly art history lesson and enjoy a delicious cookie. This season will focus on post-impressionism, so this is a great way to get your kids and the whole family involved with local art events. And while you're there, you can even check out a book. Finally, for the events section, I would like to talk a little bit about Cultivate 712. Cultivate 712 on Austin Avenue is a vibrant venue for building culture and connections. This organization helps nurture and promotes the city's artists, musicians, and creatives. They have many upcoming art events, and a few of them I would like to share with you today. The first event is Landscape of the Soul Exhibit, which runs through March 31st. This is a landscape show featuring work from artists Charles Wallace, Lauren Dickinson, and Ron Clark. This is an exploration of life through the lens of the soul, while featuring abstract works of multiple mediums, including encaustic work and acrylic paintings. The second thing I would like to share with you from Cultivate coming up is Greg Peters' animation series starting Wednesdays from 6 to 8 p.m. for six weeks. So join Cultivate every Wednesday evening for six weeks from the animator of the Animaniacs, Timon and Pumbaa, Pinky and the Brain, as well as other classics. This six-week course will cover all aspects of character design within the animation. Finally, there's a solo show featuring local artist Katie Ward's paintings kicking off on April 3rd. Next, I'm going to be highlighting some upcoming classes starting with the Barnes Decorative Arts course at the Historic Waco Foundation. The Historic Waco Foundation is excited to announce the 2020 Barnes Decorative Art Courses. This unique course is founded and taught by Livonia Jenkins Barnes. She provides premier decorative arts education for the community of Waco. This is a great opportunity to hear her teach about engaging topics, such as the relationship between decorative arts, history, design, and architecture found right here in our home of Central Texas. The lectures began on February 4th, but they will continue for every Tuesday evening for eight weeks. This means you can catch the last three lectures being held at Historic Waco Individual House Museums. This is the Earl Napier Kennard, the East Terrace, and the McCulloch Museum. You can attend three of these classes for just $15 a class. The first class is happening on March 17th for the House and Family Lecture, happening at the Earl Napier Kennard House. The second one is happening on March 24th, again for the House and Family Lecture at the McCulloch House. And finally, on March 31st, it's graduation, starting at the Hoffman House. Another class I would like to feature is for all ages. It's the Art Lab class with the Art Center of Waco, happening on March 21st and April 4th. The Art Lab is all about investigating art processes and materials. Featuring famous works of art, every 90-minute lesson begins by analyzing key elements and techniques behind these works. Young artists work through proper materials and use studio procedures through demonstrations and put it all into practice by creating a relevant work of art. 
The Art Center Waco seeks to nurture your child with creativity while exploring intriguing art materials in this class. Please note that parents and guardians are welcome, but they're not required to stay, and space is limited, so register now. Finally, we will be discussing some upcoming festivities. First, we're going to be talking about the Art on Elm event. Well, actually, the Splash of Color preview event that's happening before. This kickoff opening event for Art on Elm will be happening on April 17th from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. at the Brazos Event Center. This is also the opening of the Jurd Artist Exhibition where all work is from local artists. So wear your brightest colors and get ready to celebrate the vibrancy of Waco along the streets of Elm. For the actual festival, it starts on April 18th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. This annual free pop-up art exhibit on the historic Elm Avenue features local artists, musicians, craft, and food vendors, as well as having many children's activities. Go ahead and anticipate an abundance of art, handcrafted goods, great music, and a smorgasbord of food. Come to admire the art and stay to enjoy the rest. Art on Elm is housed from Dallas Street to Sherman Street, so head on over to get your fair share of art and goods. Last but not least, the event I would like to talk about is the upcoming Chalk Art Festival through Creative Waco, happening on April 25th. Artists will be taking over downtown Waco's cultural district all along Austin Avenue the morning of April 25th. The Chalk Murals will then be in view for the entire weekend. On that same Saturday, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., events will culminate into the first ever Chalk Waco Art Festival, where everyone's invited to see and celebrate the art. So let's rally around Waco's artists and color the streets to show what Waco's culture is all about. Waco and the surrounding area is home to 15 different museums. This includes the Martin Museum of Art, the Mayboer Museum Complex, and other museums like the Dr. Pepper Museum and even the Waco Historic Foundation Museum. These museums feature a diverse collection of art, artifacts, and other important historical pieces that help make Waco a cultural hub for creators and collectors alike. Thank you for tuning into this week's podcast. This is your host, Debbie, signing off. Now that you know, go. Just go, Waco. You are going on a run. This has been Rogue Media Network Podcast. Frozen. Frozen. Heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen. Frozen. Heroes. Gonna tell you about. Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Mike. And we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about. Bros, Foes, and Heroes. It's the two of us looking into the world of comics, breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of, and some that are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Zach comes up with a character each time, and uh, I go into it just completely blind. I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything, and and basically I guess we kind of go over their origin story and just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe especially Golden Age stuff. Oh, Golden Age stuff is always the best, and we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness of everything. That's right. So subscribe today and uh, follow us on Instagram at Bros Bros Heroes. And if you don't, I know where you live. Not really, but please subscribe. (laughs) Bros and Bros and Heroes Gonna tell you about Bros and Bros and Heroes Gonna Gonna tell tell you about. about Welcome to One Star Rewind, a new podcast about those dreaded one-star reviews that every business owner hates to receive, but yet every customer loves to read. During this podcast, we will peel back that one-star review to better understand how it happened, when it happened, and what the business owner is doing after receiving that one-star review. This podcast will be about love, hate, and laughter. On One Star Rewind, we will meet with real business owners will tell their stories and how they do rely on reviews for their business. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or download us at roguemedianetwork.com. Please subscribe, but only rate and review for not a one-star review. Join us each time for a new review and a new story.